Good day everyone and welcome to day 261, turn 261 of your daily Civ 7 news update. It was announced at PAX Melbourne today that Civ 7 will have the most Civs at launch compared to all previous Civ games. How many is that you ask? 31, which I think it's safe to assume that's 10 in each era plus the Shawnee as the 11th in the Exploration Age. That makes 31 all up. Although this sounds impressive, it's important to remember two things here. One, you essentially have to play three sieves per game if you're doing a full game, so technically you can experience every sieve after just 10 games, or 11 if we're really thinking about it. But, two, we are talking about just sieves here, not leaders. In theory, there could be more leaders than sieves, although this does seem unlikely, as Fraxis has stated in the past, that the leaders and the animations have been historically the biggest time sink when adding new sieves to the game, so we'll have to see there. But, speaking of leaders, Trung Truck was revealed, hailing from Vietnam, noting that we haven't actually had that uh, sieve revealed yet. Trung Truck is a militaristic and scientific based leader who gets three free promotions on her first army commander, and her commanders in general gain 20% experience. On the first part of this ability, this seems absurdly strong. Now yes, you only get the, the three promotions on your first army commander, but from what we've seen, some of these promotions are pretty bonkers. So it seems like an insane sieve to get the snowball rolling early, and then just steamroll the rest of the game, or the rest of the age, at least. As for the second part of her ability, notice how it says plus 20% commander experience, unspecified commander. Pretty much confirms, I think, that in the Antiquity Age we'll have Army Commanders, in the Exploration Age we'll have Navy Commanders, and the Modern Age could have Flight Commanders, or Air Force Commanders, whatever you want to call them. But wait, it keeps going. Her cities built in tropical terrain uh, gain plus 10% science, just straight up. But wait, there's more still. This bonus is doubled while in a formal war that she declared. Uh, the science steroid combined with her Turbo Army Commander Seems like a match made in heaven. I'm always a big fan of early aggression in Civ games. Love taking over my neighbours. So this seems right up my alley. I could definitely see her being one of the leaders I hop straight in uh, to when the game comes out. Side note, this is probably the best looking leader model yet, with some really clean animations too. Seems to be getting more polished with every new leader they show, which is a very good sign. The other news we got uh, builds upon something I spoke about on day 259, and that is the unique unit design for sieves. Uh, so I asked where the line was uh, for this, how far can they push it? Well, from what was shown today, pretty bloody far is the answer. Uh, so it seems like they're going to vary it by region, which is more than I would have ever expected, and all of these designs look phenomenal. Everything to do with the in-game graphics in Civ 7 continues to be absolutely stunning. Love to see it. Can't wait to uh, see some of these guys in action. I think that's all I've got for you today. There was a lot of good stuff revealed over the past uh, couple of days. I'll see you all tomorrow, but until then, thanks for watching. And P.S. for Axis, please continue to reveal news uh, at really convenient times for Australians. Love your work. Thanks for watching.